group in View Royal is turning up the heat over plans in the town to build a new and desperately needed fire hall. The group says the process is flawed. The town council says it's misinformation that's clouding the issue. And the volunteer fire department says it needs a new home and needs the community's support. CTV's Stephanie Sherlock has the story. There's no question View Royal needs a new fire hall. And then the conditions inside the building are absolutely deplorable working conditions. There's no heat downstairs. There's no ventilation upstairs. And I've read both Mitchell reports. And though some may quote reports to the contrary. This building can't be repaired and seismically upgraded. I don't want to see our volunteer fire department working out of converted closets and in substandard conditions. Despite that, she and others aren't supporting the plan. They'll have to go to referendum. There are concerns over the cost of the project, an estimated $8 million. We are going to shoulder this debt, and then there will be other capital projects that our municipality will have to contribute to. The location of the new facility. Well, as a mother of a seven-year-old in a regional training facility and fire hall going in my backyard, um, I'm, yes, I would like to know what is happening. Even the process itself. This was supposed to be a referendum originally and that's what we need to do. We need to talk about democracy. We want to be able to see both sides of the stories and our alternatives and let the public vote. But rather than a referendum, the town chose an alternate approval process or AAP. If 10% of View Royal residents submit a form opposing the plan, it will go to a referendum. I think they just want to push through. They want to have a bigger, better fire hall. The main thing to me is this is a critical piece piece of infrastructure for View Royal. This is not a frivolous item. But thanks to this small group actively campaigning to get those forms signed, it may not go ahead as planned. And it's feared those signing the forms aren't properly informed. Please call town staff, call myself, call the mayor, call a member of council, and um, do get the accurate information. We, we would like to engage in dialogue. While the hardworking volunteers wait and see if their new home is a go. They want to do the right thing. They want to respond. They want to help and serve and protect this community. And it's my obligation and it's, it's this council's obligation to give these volunteers the best equipment and the best facility possible so they can do their jobs. We're not paying some, so the least we can do is, is give them a facility that functions and works for them. Results of the AAP will be known next week. Stephanie Sherlock, CTV News, View Royal.